Horoscopes by 1PKC.io, brought to you by Jeff Helkenberg. Hello Capricorn, this is your horoscope for the week of March 25th, 2019. Now currently the house of Capricorn hosts Saturn and Pluto, and so of course that means your ruler, being Saturn, is in your house. And so, as we were talking about last week, it was a very good week for you from a leadership perspective that you were able to shine through and you were going to be also able to help people learn how to kind of lead themselves so that they don't have to rely on you quite so heavily. Well, this week there are going to be a lot more challenges because we're looking at a Mercury retrograde in Pisces. This is going to have a deep and profound effect on everyone around you, and chances are it will have an effect on you as well. However, you're probably going to be better equipped to weather the storm, uh, especially because of the power that currently resides in your own house. This is looking like a very good week for you, but it's not necessarily because you're shining brighter. It's because a lot of other people are a little bit more dim this week. Now, in the workplace situation, we're looking at a lot of problems with communication. So you're going to want to be a very good listener this week. You're going to want to hear the entire story. And there's going to be subtext. Chances are that people are going to be saying one thing, but there will be hidden meanings in what they're saying. And if you listen carefully, it's going to reveal a lot about their intentions, about where they're at in their life, and about where they're going. And those things can help you on a professional front because you're going to be able to be prepared for dealing with circumstances that have not yet arisen, but that you, probably you uniquely, are going to be able to predict. So if you listen more this week than, than talk and allow people to kind of take take on a more of a leadership role, even if they're not going to be very effective at that, the information that you're going to gain from listening and allowing other people to have a little bit more of a leadership role, the information you gain is going to be incredibly valuable and it's going to help you predict what future weeks and months are going to look like and how those people's performance is going to be, whether positive or negative, you're going to be able to make certain kinds of predictions from the information you gain this week, provided that you are listening more than talking. Now, in the relationship side, in your personal and romantic life, look for those communication misfires as well. Make sure that you're as patient with your uh, significant other as you are uh, in the workplace. You want to make sure that you're listening to them, that you're understanding what they're trying to communicate to you. Chances are they're going to say it the wrong way. But if you're the bigger person, you'll understand that it's probably very much joined up with this Mercury retrograde, that they're trying to say, I love you, but they're actually criticizing you. Just understand there will be communication issues, and you're going to seem, again, like the adult in the relationship who's capable of handling it and maintaining an even emotional keel. So that's really the key this week. You do not want to allow your emotions to get away from you because it'll be kind of like a, a spark in dry kindling. Chances are it'll just rage out of control. Uh, you know, it might be a tipping point for you where you kind of get, become explosive. So do your very best to control your emotions this week and things are going to be very good for you. Now, for those of you who know your birth chart positions, here is a rundown of the other planets and our star. Mercury is in retrograde in Pisces where it is joined by Neptune. Venus is in Aquarius, Mars and Uranus are in Taurus, Jupiter is in Sagittarius, Saturn and Pluto are in Capricorn, where the moon starts the week in Scorpio, it will move through Sagittarius and your house of Capricorn and will end the week in Aquarius, and the sun this week is in Aries. So again, be conscious that there are going to be communication misfires all over the place. You're going to be the stronger person, and you're going to be able to come out of it unscathed. Thank you for listening, and visit 1pkc.io for more great content.